Achilles, A C H. A C H. I double L. I double L. P S. I'm just signing for my own springs, you know, as you do. As you do. Um, I picked the paint code as well. Okay. So I picked the paint code on the springs. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm so <Yeah>. tempted. <laughs> um, but most other customers probably wouldn't like that. So they come through. Hey. And uh, they come like that. That's all they'll our name on some sort of stuff. Yeah. Oh. Good morning, guys. How's it going? I'm down here at Motec Performance in Northampton. The reason I'm here is I'm actually off on the Petrol Heads tour with Pete on the weekend. Uh, originally, I had a press car lined up, that's kind of fallen through. I've got my lovely M135 that I've kind of not fallen out of love with, but I just haven't been using much because I've been getting regular nice cars. Now, this is a fantastic car. Every time I get in it, I love it, as you guys know. It's one of the best, most sort of undervalued, underplayed cars I've driven, and I absolutely love it. Even driving up here today, I sort of fell back in love with it. So. I thought, let's take that car. And then I decided, why not just change a few things with it? Make it a little bit more special, not go crazy with it. Now, the guys at Motec Performance, I've seen a lot of their stuff. I've seen a lot of videos online. And I know that those guys specialize in, especially German cars, uh, you know, just tweaking a few bits and bobs, keeping everything fairly OEM looking though, which is, main, which is the main thing for me, um, but improving things like suspension, ride, bit more performance so I haven't wanted to go crazy a bit like Alpina do in a, in, a, in a strange kind of way you know they get a very good OEM product and just make a few areas a little bit better the engine you know the suspension components etc so what we've got in front of me down here and it is like Christmas so yeah we've got the IVAC springs here they're gonna lower the rear of the car 20 mil and the front of the car about 25 mil uh, which is going to be perfect. It will just it will be noticeable. It will give it stance. This is in terms of aesthetics. It's going to look better. But I, I'm not so much about it looking better. Although, obviously, if it does, then that's a bonus for me. But obviously, that's going to lower the entire ride height and also give the car just more stability in the turns, less roll, etc. Uh, to go with them, we've got some wheel spacers, which are just over here, made by TPI. Again, I think they're about 15 mil. 15 mil at the back, 12 at the front. So again, minimal, but noticeable. Um, and again, they're gonna give me slightly, a slightly more pliant ride as well, which is what most BMs need. Cause I think, especially for the UK, they're just over damped. They're too stiff, a lot of the spring rates on them. So, so that's kind of gonna probably work in, in conjunction with the springs that might stiffen it up a bit. They're gonna give it a bit more leverage. So in effect, give it, give it a bit of a softer ride. Probably making no sense, but anyway, you're used to that. Uh, so we've got that side on the suspension, ride and handling. Um, then when we move, let's move to the brakes. So I cooked, basically I did a track day last year and I cooked the OEM pads and since then they've never had really the bite in them because they're great the OEM pads when you're using it for everyday stuff but spend half a day on the track they just glazed over and cooked. So we've got EBC yellow stuff pads to go on there uh, and also to back them up we've got the brilliant Goodrich uh, braided lines which uh, basically, the last bit of the line between where the caliper is and where it hooks into the, the main sort of reservoir bit, uh, the top of the suspension mount. So th these are the bits that get hot and overheat, um, and they're the bits that manufacturers tend to save a bit of cash on. Then we've got the air filter uh, made by Piper Cross, uh, which replaces the paper one with a nice foam filter. It's not going to give night and day different performance, but it's just going to allow the car to breathe a bit better. Foam filters are what you get in much higher end performance cars so we're going to have that in there then we're going to have the remus powerizer which is basically a, a plug-in uh plug-in and play um tuning kit that allows the ecu um to give the engine to free the engine up basically to, to give the engine what it should have had or you know to almost turn it into it's the same lump as, as you get in the m2 effectively and this is going to give us similar sort of power gains. I think we're going up about 30 brake horsepower uh, and about 50 newton meters of torque, um, give or take. Yes, uh, 40 extra brake horsepower and 50 newton meters of torque. So I almost fluked that. Um, so that should be good, and that's exactly what I wanted as well. I could have gone crazy. I mean, I know people that are pushing out well over 400 brake from the N55, but again, I just wanted a bit more mid range. I wanted something that was noticeable, but nothing too crazy because I haven't got a diff on the car, so I don't want to go too crazy. Um, and I also want to be able to just unplug it or, you know, you can adjust it whilst it's in there. Anyway, I'm going on enough. 
This is the car beforehand. We'll talk about it once it's done. I'm going to put in some lovely shots of it going over, and I'm also going to interview Mike, who is one of the guys behind Motec Performance, um, and talk to him a bit more about the sort of stuff that we're putting on the car. Hope you enjoyed today. Cheers, guys. What we're going to do these 15, so these will be your rears. Yep. But these, you can buy like anything else. You buy cheap space, you buy cheap jeans. Yeah. It's just going to fade in the wash. It's going to yeah. crap. They're decent quality spaces, you can see. Oh, wow, and they're light as well. Yeah, but well, that's nice. what the extra holes are for. Nerd on the outside. Oh, yeah. okay. Sprung weight on the, on the, yeah. So that's that. Nice. All extended bolts, that's your 12s. Brilliant. So, uh, oh, yeah. they look trick. Yeah, you know the OEM on, you know, all my fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, uh, EBC yellow step brake pads. Yep. Which obviously we've got a conversation about. Just yep. be careful when they're brand new and they're fitted. But what's good about the EBC yellow stuff is as well. Up, is they do have a braking procedure as well. So yep. those are track pad. Yep. They do work initial bite when they're cold, like I sort of said to you on the phone. Sure. You use a car as a daily, you don't want to go down the road. And, and have nothing. Around. Yeah, exactly. So anti wrapping as well, so it won't battle around, so yeah. very factory OEM. And you get the initial braking. So even though they're a brand new brake pad, you'll go down the road tonight hmm. to brake, it will work straight away. Yeah. You don't have to bed them in. Yeah. Right? yeah. But obviously don't go Nuts. 300 mile an hour tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Power riser, as we sort of said, plug yep. play unit, worked really, really well. I had one on the 235i, amazing bit of kit. Comes with different maps and different programs. We'll yep. go through all this, we'll yep. decide where you want to hide it. What's good about this as well, if you ever go into the airport and obviously you're leaving your car somewhere, yep. you have a new loom, if you just disconnect this from the loom, the car will never start. Put that in your bag, it's like an ah, okay. because it's actually leaving an open circuit. Yep. If you want it back to standard, you can just put it back onto it. Um, and then your free flow filter as well. Oh yeah, brilliant. You know, with something like this, it's only going to help the car breathe. When you see sort of paper filters, yeah. they're built to a cost. And yeah. they do a job, the same as that. But the foam filter is a performance part. So it's cost. So when you go to manufacturers, yeah. they retail $37.95. You go and buy a paper one for yours, oh, 16 quid. So it's yeah. cost cutting. Right, so we've been out looking at the Mustang driving the S3 and I've come back and my M135 is up on the jacks. The wheels are off. Now the front have, the fronts have already been changed. So let's go and have a quick look at them. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, oh look at that. Perfect, they're all lined up so you can see Motec. And then under the bonnet. So we just fit the power riser now. Yep. So this will plug up on the loom, the original loom, so pick up on the boost sensors, cam position sensor. Wow. And the inlet manifold sensor. And then what Nick's really good at doing is hiding it all. So yep. that's the new loom. Sure. And you can see what it does is actually unplug sensor, plug the new sensor in. So that's your old retaining sensor. Okay. And that's the new remus one plugged in. So if you want it back to standard, yep. your sensor's still there. So there's nothing cutting or pulling anything apart. Amazing. So it's it literally is. It's yeah. the, 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 the hardest bit, I suppose. Sorry, this is Nick. Hi. <laughs> who's uh, who's the magic? The guy, you know, the guy that's that's doing everything and, and making it all happen. I guess so. Probably the hardest bit is what you're talking about there. Is just hi hiding make it. it all fit, hiding it. Right, we just come back from a lovely lunch with Mike, and back in here, looking at the car. Some more progress. We've now got the yellow stuff EBC pads in there. The spacers are on. The springs are on. The whole it just looks more race car. Looks looks more trick. Looks really nice. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to seeing what that, those little changes sort of make to the sort of complete car. Plus obviously everything that's been going up or going on up in the engine bay. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, you've raised it yeah. 25 centimetres, not, oh, no, okay.
dropping it level now. Hey guys, how's it going? So we have finished the completion at Motec Performance. My M135 is now a completely transformed car. Uh, I've been out for a very quick drive and I'm going to tell you it is better in every area. I'm not going to go into too much depth because I'm going to do a whole video on my first drive, which will be a bit of a lie because it'll be my second or third by then, but at least I'll be able to tell you exactly how it feels and have more time behind the wheel. Uh, but everything is promising. So that's from behind the wheel. In terms of the way it looks, I just love it. Um, it might come across quite subtle on camera at the moment, uh, but it just it sits lower, it looks wider. And Mike actually just drove it out and back in for me so I could have a good look at it. And the whole car just, it just looks so much better on the move especially. And it feels like you are sitting lower, which you are, but it actually does feel like it, which might be in my mind, but I'm not sure yet. But super, super happy with the work that's been going on today. I'm, I've seen much of the process. Mike took me out for lunch as well. So we've had a really good day down here with the zero to 60 guys. And that brings me on to their video. So they've done a few bits and pieces behind the scenes. Um, they've filmed Mike's S3 as well. So that's, that's a, a video link I'm gonna put in the bottom. You've also got to check out Patrick's video from Talk Chasers. I'm gonna put the link below the video. Now, he does all the videos for Motec. So they've done a kind of behind the scenes version of my video of today uh, it's going to be very interesting so i'll put both of those links below the video make sure you sort of follow them on instagram as well lastly but not least we have got one of these fantastic t-shirts to give away to be in a chance to win one of these amazing t-shirts you just need to make sure you're subscribed to motec performance obviously make sure you're subscribed to my channel Leave a comment below, something along the lines of what should I get modded next on my M135. Mike from Motec is gonna choose the winner and ship one of these awesome t-shirts out to you guys. Uh, I think that's about it for today. There is one more thing I'm meant to be getting to. Uh, I've got these new intakes coming in, so um, this will be on the next video. Yeah. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get it to Are you cutting a hole in the bonnet for it? Uh, Where's the it? Grill, out the yeah, grill. Out the yeah, grill, yeah, out the yeah, grill. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's just so out the uh, front. That's going to be pedestrian safety and all the rest of it. Yeah, it'll sound amazing. The sound amazing, that's, yeah. that's all that matters, basically. We'll get this on. Yeah, cool. No Mike, worries. thanks very much. Oh, this, is, this is the Mike from <laughs> Motec, by the way. Yes, um, he's been an awesome help and a very knowledgeable guy. So drop him any questions and emails you want to You can help out, definitely. Cool. Thanks. Really Cheers. No Thank you guys behind the scenes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to talk yeah. hunters. Chasers. Chasers. Oh man, what's wrong with me? Milf hunters. <laughs> <laughs> if you said that, he's got to subscribe to Milf hunters. <laughs> Milf hunters. You know all of his subs are already done. Yeah, exactly, talk hunters. Yeah. Why do I? Sorry, I'm sorry that I keep forgetting. No, no, it's fine.